Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. It's a big week for Airbus and the Gulf Coast. The company's first final assembly line in the U.S. officially gets to work. With more A320s headed to the skies, there is a growing demand for people to fly them. News 5's Bill Riles traveled to Miami to find out how one business is meeting the demand for training new pilots for the A320. Airbus will soon be cranking out four A320 or A321s a month from its Mobile assembly line. Good news for Airbus and Mobile, and for airline pilots who want to fly them. My destination, Miami International Airport. And the Pan Am International Flight Training Center. Pilots come here from all over the world to learn to fly just about everything. The Pan Am name has been in existence since the 1920s. Once a worldwide air carrier, now one of the leading destinations for flight training in the world. Our core business is training. The people here at Pan Am say they were excited to hear about the Airbus assembly plant in Mobile, and they believe it'll be a huge impact on the aviation industry across the country. Because then that generates more opportunities for, for us to train pilots. Former pilot Ralph Leach is showing me the absolute latest technology for training pilots. Pan Am just installed its newest A320 flight simulator last month. True Simulator, spelled T-R-U, is owned by Textron. It's the same company that owns Bell Helicopter, Cessna, Beechcraft, to name a few. It's the most realistic simulator on the planet. Sound injecting motion uh, through the data package that the aircraft manufacturer provides to simulator manufacturers and then replicates all the movements of the aircraft. That means aircraft makers like Airbus send specific information about how the plane is designed to react in certain situations, from takeoff to landing and everything it could encounter in between. Instead of hydraulics, this simulator uses electrical impulses to create actual movements an aircraft could or should make. It's a lot different than the old days of flight simulators and comparatively cost less. Before what happened is that they caught the, the aircraft's nose and they stimulated all the parts. So everything you had behind was the real avionics boxes mm -hmm. of the aircraft, which made it very expensive. The big difference is this simulator, and one you might be familiar with, you know, something like this. Inside, it's an exact replica of an A320 cockpit. So anyone that, that receives an A320 from today on will train in a simulator that is exactly like the aircraft. We'll take you inside tomorrow for a look. It's like the ultimate flight simulator. It is the ultimate, it flight, is simulator. The ultimate flight simulator. Reporting from Miami, Bill Riles, News 5. And if you're looking for a new car,